Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World where we do reviews, okay? Honey, it's a family affair over here. We always get it popping. We always get it percolating. And we always try to sit and talk and discuss about what's going on out there in social media, what's trending. So I'm inviting y'all over to the house Thursday night. Hope you all had a wonderful work day or y'all started up for the holiday season you know season's greetings to each and every one of you all hope you're relaxing hopefully hopefully you're resting and if you have to go to work tomorrow to close out your week and then you'll be on holiday fair well i salute you okay because i kind of started the day <laughs> But I'm going to be here, there, everywhere, across your social media feed. Uh, if you got notifications plugged in or uh, turned on, make sure you do because I'll be dropping videos here and there. Um, yeah, so look forward to that. And we'll be sitting there chilling with one another, talking about different things that's happening out there in that social media world, what's trending and all that good stuff. Don't for, uh, forget to always subscribe, 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 share my videos. And you can definitely comment because, you know, that's what I like for you to do. I don't necessarily have to tell you. That's what we are over here for the ones that couldn't come. And watch me when I fully was taping and put the video out the first uh, couple of hours that it aired. And then we got stragglers that we already don't finish the conversation, but they want to catch up. They can catch the replay. All right. But it doesn't matter whether you watch it uh, two days from now, two weeks from now. Just as long as you watch it, you get your edification. You put down in the comments what y'all felt about the subject matter. Because, you know, I like to know what's going on. But lo and behold, or lo and behold, I should say. But we're going to keep the Lord in there too. Okay because Kenya definitely need prayers going up for her so blessings can continue to come down but we need her to stand in her own shit okay we need her to just let us all know that this was a fake fraudulent fictitious wedding of a marriage not uh anything that was found in the courthouse or whatnot but just simply say hey I made a mistake this wasn't my forever and after uh, man that I was hoping and praying for okay now I see it's a win-win situation he probably don't want that from you I know you're just throwing it up in the media that he want this that and the third from you see what I'm saying y'all excuse me Jay let's lock him out okay where was I? Yeah, he wanting this, that, and the third from you. And I just don't believe it. I think his time had expired. The contract had got uh, voided uh, because maybe she wanted some additional playing time with you to uh, keep up this mock or false relationship Um wedding situation y'all got yourselves into he just wanted to be, make a clean break just come out and say after the Tamara Hall show that you all aired on look I just want to be to myself I want myself back I want my world back I'm like can you go may she be prosperous maybe she um, get everything she's hoped and dreamed for she had the marriage she had the baby now we have to move on and you know she'll just stay silent whatever but maybe she giving him some money behind the scenes for keep taping for that season i guess it was was we in 12 so i guess that was 11 all this stuff was popping off in or uh, on and she just didn't let us know but she had a good storyline coming back for season 12 don't know what she gonna do after season 12 what 13 is gonna be about because technically i really don't want to hear about mark no more we don't hear from him from half of season 11 all of uh season 12 till it don't play itself dry it's done put the fork in it this storyline has been had but let's go on into what media take out news yes she's trending out there and usually when they break it other people kind of investigated a little more and then they started breaking it so i don't gave me a take out a reprieve honey i salute them okay because they don't want to get in no litigation not really so half the stuff 99 percent of it may be right and you might have a little embellished part to make that 100 percent okay that's how i see it you know what i'm saying it's all entertainment it's not really geared to really knowing somebody's ins and outs and their daily routines unless you want them paparazzi and you're just out there viewing everything they do from sun up to sun down because that's what you're getting and pay for it that's another whole realm of living that i'm not into and i don't promote it so hey if it's out there on my social media feed i find some 
edification in it or efficacy I want to put out there on my perspective of it since it was just dropped at my front door. I thought I'd shoot. Let me come on my tube and get my uh, one, two, three punch on it or my take on it. Okay. Since they're freely giving it to me, I might well freely give them back my response, right? That's the only thing I can do. Isn't that right, fam? <sighs> Yeah, I think y'all concur with me because y'all drop down in my comments and y'all let me know uh, what y'all feel about it too. So we both on the same boat. Let's just go and talk about this subject. But okay, it was written by a staff member because me to take out don't give out their sources like that. <laughs> They don't want any part of it, but I'm just tr joking this time. No, they had actually a staff writer who came out and uh, put himself on the line. His name is London Obio, uh, Abio, or something like that, A-B-I-O-Y-E. Okay, the pronunciation, the spelling is right. I'm just probably tearing it up with my, the pronunciation of his last name. So, London, forgive me, honey, but thank you for that salacious story you brought out on Kenya Moore, keeping us... Uh, abreast of what's going on and all of that so uh like i said somebody else's garbage is somebody else's gold okay and that's what these bloggers are out here doing and then we piggyback uh content creators and we give our spin on it though it be biased though it be unbiased or it might be somewhere in between you know what i'm saying neutral but it's just who all that you really go for. You want them to win this, that, and third. Or, you know, you just have some dislikes about them and you just want to tell them about the things that you don't like about them okay but i do them both i tell you what i like about them what i don't like about them just is what it is i like calling a spade a spade and i i you know tend to have people you know you can call me a spade if i'm acting like a spade but come with facts now or come with your opinion and be very uh descriptive of what you're talking about and not just how i present it just tell me where you uh you saw some flaws in my way of thinking or whatever i accept them i take it as valid points because they're from you family okay so Sometimes we can find some logic into what you're saying through reasoning and deductive reasoning to put it in a perspective of that's a positive hypothesis. You know what I'm saying? But then you have the ones that just be talking out the side of their neck, many family members, and they don't have a clue what you're talking about. It's just them just want to say whatever, whether they believe in what they're saying or not. They just want to say it, okay? That's how families get down. That's how families act, okay? That's why I say it's a family affair over here. We ain't going to agree all the time. We're going to agree to disagree. We might argue here and there, but then when it's time to shut it down, you know they be shutting shit down, okay? Don't want to hear about it. We'll delete you. We'll call security and block you for life, okay? That's just how we do it, all right? But anyway, just going over here, he gives us an article that's London over there at Media Takeout News uh, blogging site. He gives us a title of his article, ATL Housewives Kenya and Husband Argue Over House in Bentley. And I'm like, wait a minute, House in Bentley? Is that a name? Now I got the thing. I said, no, that's Kenya Moore's Bentley. She's supposed to have a guy for some African man. I was that Portia? Or hey, was that both of them? I don't know. Because, you know, Kenya was make, messing with an African man at one time. Then, on um, what them streets are saying, the man was married. Okay? So, she's messing with a married man. That's what they say. Now, I don't know. I don't have no facts to support it. It's all alleged. Okay? But this is what it was being shown way back in the day. And if you were watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, you will understand what uh season that was when her and Portia both were dating African men and they was drying these men up. You know what I'm saying? Taking all day materialistic things and probably were doing some strange things for some change, but you didn't hear that from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard it from somebody else, so we just all just putting our gossip out there, okay? Shame on me. Shame on me. But I did tell y'all it was allegedly. Now, this is how we get down on we tell with Dev say, mm mm, Dev didn't say that. Well, Dev said it, but she said she was all allegedly. She ain't said it was real. It was facts. And here you can go. I said allegedly, okay? But anyway, yeah. They said she had got that billing from the African man, but I'm not sure. Okay, check it out if you really want to know the tea. Then bring it back to me and I put it out there on Front Street, okay? I won't say your name or anything. I do like the big bloggers say my source. <laughs> But if you want to be an OG standing your shit, say, hell yeah, I said it. Put my name out there. So, I, you know, if they come from me through your uh, channel, then let it have. But, you know, I had to let them have respect for you. We ain't going to be letting them call you out your name, this, that, and third. Or let him call you out. You know, however it is, who's dropping the tea. But like I said, it's just all what it is. And it's all what it can be. But we're just going to let it lie down like a lying dog laying down getting several naps. Okay, several naps. But anyway, let's go on into what we're talking about. I'm talking about R and over Kenya Moore. 
was Billy in her house. I'm like, Ma, baby, I know Kenya just setting you up for the okie doke, just dropping down T out there in the streets. How much you want to take her stuff? Why you want to take her stuff when you already self built, self built, man made? Okay, she always says and have always continue to say that you about your money, you about your your dollars, your security. You have businesses, okay? You definitely have that restaurant business we know about, and you're supposed to be opening up a second one. I don't know if that's in Atlanta. I probably don't think so because you're trying to get as far as you can from Kenya Moore. So, therefore, it might be over there, maybe in Baltimore, Las Vegas, or hell, it might be another one up there in New York where you reside, okay, 99% of the time. All right, but just to think that you're trying to take Kenya for her assets, meaning her $1.8 million home, as well as her Bentley that she owned outright, okay, have the deed, have the title to both. I don't know. I don't, mm -mm. you're not going to make me believe that, can you? Because, see, that, like, you can get on mad ass and make him feel lower than a piece of gum under your shoe. Why you ain't doing the same thing with Mo? Why you ain't handling him like you handle mad? Okay, why? Because you scared he might go inside that head, one, two, three, or you scared that he may tell you the truth or tell us the truth about your real contractual agreement that y'all made between each other and really spoil you? Mm-hmm. And then you'll be turning sour, or your viewers and fans will be turning sour towards you. And then you'll really be crying and being in th somebody's therapy office if we really knew the tea, the truth. Now, is he trying to say, uh, yeah, you don't really want to come after me because I really can tell these people the truth? Now, I can't say one thing. Matt, show love. You could tell every time you were with him. Y'all had love. But I just wanted to address this issue when Kim Moore said people uh, think that she's Beyonce when she step out the house every day. No, honey. That's in your mind. That's not truth. Okay. But yeah, that's her rolling around in her Rolls Royce. Her Bentley, honey. Yeah, I don't know who the person is, but it's neither here nor there. Okay. So she could have kept them secret, hidden, hidden out, or blocked out how she was. But yeah, Kim, you got married. Mm-hmm. You chased your dream. Somebody sold you a dream that didn't last for long, didn't it? What well, happens to most of us who's out there wanting to be someone's uh, personal uh, partner for life? Sometimes death take them, and sometimes you just get tired of that person for whatever reason. Through, commun through lack of communication, through y'all just have grown so far apart from each other. Y'all are just looking like y'all just strangers. But, you know, you had your share of men, and they definitely looked like they wanted to be with you, whether it was for money, for hire, or just being in your spot. But Mark never really came across as someone that seemed like he was happy being with you. You know, the photos speak largely. You know how they say it? Pictures says a, a thousand words that are unspoken. Yes, that is a true thing. But let's get on into this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, media takeout. Uh, I'm slipping y'all because I should have had this together, shouldn't I? I sure should have. Let me see. That's, a, that's Bravo. Let me see. That's too I No, that's not. Let me see. Here. Media, media takeout news. Kenya more. Let's see if that'll bring it up doing it that way. Yep, it did. Okay. The story was brought out on the 17th, which is two days ago. So the 17th was Tuesday. Sorry, I didn't get on it, but you know, I'm on it, doggone it right now. Okay. But uh, it says, uh, on the upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore and her husband, Mark Daly, get into an argument over Kenya's home and her Bentley. Now, that's why I said, I find no really validity in it all. Because he never came for anything. He never said he wanted anything. Hell, he didn't even talk to you when you were filming. Or he was filming with you on some scenes uh, during a particular episode um, this season on season 12. I mean, he was just talking to the baby and going on doing what he felt he needed to do. He was, he was just allowing you in his atmosphere, his space. That's what it was. Everything that was being shown, he was enjoying Brooklyn's company. And, you know, that's the African I'm talking about that <coughs> uh, Kenya said he was going to put a ring on and she was going to be some kind of African princess running around now. But she ended up getting mauled for hire. And we see how the results, ending results are looking for her in that aspect. Okay, but, you know, she was with 
um, mad. And Matt wasn't as troubled as first. He wasn't as troubled as can you try to play him out to be until, I guess, she wanted other avenues to venture out on. And she just tried to paint uh, Mark in a very low uh, type of setting. But then as things went on, we did find that Matt had a little violent past with women. So we're going to uh, just chalk it up to... Uh, great job can you forget out of that situation but to me it did seem like matt had a real loving relationship towards her um before she felt it got violent and she couldn't be putting up with him but then she found love or she said she found love in mark but it didn't seem like it was totally reciprocated on mark's end to share love back towards kenya so it just is what it is. But let's get back to the article. Okay. It says when the two married, Kenya had a bunch of assets, including a 200,000 K Bentley and a home. Both her car and house are completely paid off. Now, in this previous episode on Real Housewives of Atlanta that we just watched on this previous Sunday or past Sunday, the only assets that she claimed to fame was her home, which she had in value appraised at. Uh, at 1.8 million, she was talking about her Kenya Moore products. So, what happened to the Bentley, Kenya? Uh, why we did? Why weren't we speaking about the Bentley, Kenya? Uh, do we really have the deed or the title to that car? Or what? Cause I yeah, I'm coming for you. That's the man who was supposed to have had the plan and dropped you down that Bentley on your behind. But um, you're not claiming that in the show when you went and visit that um uh, estate planner person where she's supposed to be protecting your assets, and she asked you what was your biggest asset. The only thing you said was your home and your. Can you hear more products company line that you were very proud of establishing? So where did the Bentley come from? You don't own the Bentley, can you? So it shouldn't be nothing for you to be fussing about because you didn't say it in when you were meeting over there with that lady when you were tossing around high figures of what you have that's of value that you wanted to leave to your daughter. So, mm, question mark, light bulb going off, Kenya. Is this another stunt? But anyway, let's get back to the article. Okay. It says, during the episode, Mark can be seen trying to belittle Kenya's assets and criticizing her for living a fake, extravagant life. He also questioned Kenya's priorities in choosing to purchase a luxury car. He pointed out during the discussion that it was her money that paid for the car and the house and not his. Okay. Maybe we got a little Instagram clip of what he was saying. Honestly, um, we're, we're, we're different in a, in a lot of ways. Ken likes a little flash, you know what I mean? So when, you, when you say flash, though... Let me finish before I... Okay. Because you're jumping in. you got to respect the, the conversation. Opposites are trapped, but you got to respect people for their differences. And it's fine. But for me, I don't want to be Mr. Flash. The flash is it's not real. Um, I don't necessarily think I like flash. I'm a self-made person. And I'm very proud of that fact. So with that said, I remember we had a conversation about me driving a Bentley before we got married. So, so no, I didn't say that. What did you say about my car? Can I respond? I didn't say about the Bentley. I said, let's take care of the house before we take care of the Bentley. What my house is paid for. So if I want to buy a car. There's there's priorities. It's my money. If I want to drive a Bentley, so be it. I'm going to leave it at that. And you see how Kenya was has a takeover spirit and what the man was saying was on point. Let's get this house together. Maybe he was thinking about buying another house or adding on to your house, Kenya. Did you ever, you know, give him the chance to respond? Of course, I'm pretty sure he knew you owned your own house. And if he didn't know you owned your own house, then what are you giving us of a marriage? Because don't he supposed to know a little bit about your assets? Just a little bit, girl. So he should have known up front that you... It had your house paid for. I mean, I know this was a whirlwind 
attraction and a whirlwind marriage, but damn, he, do he know anything about you? That makes me think that it is a contractual, but let me still standing firm on my foundation on this marriage was fake, fraudulent, and total fuckery to get yourself back up on the show, which you definitely solidified yourself. I ain't, you know, I'm like, get it where you fit in, girl. You want that dollar, mother dollar. You want to chase that green. That green need to always be all over you. Like sweat comes when you're perspiring, when you did a nice workout or sexual escapade type of thing. Let it drip, drip, drip on you, baby. But on the other hand, it comes with responsibilities. Those that are giving much, much is expected from them, okay? So my thing is, okay, can you? The, boy, the man look like he don't know nothing about you. All love is fake or whatever you told him about you is fake. Because as you can tell in that clip, he was making points valid points he was speaking truth luxury materialistic stuff they can be taken away at any time any given point okay true love honesty and respect they go a long way that lasts a lifetime okay and a lifetime of good memories so the man was speaking right righteous when he was making that statement let's hear it again why don't i think we shall okay shall i proceed yes indeed in my kim look him's voice let's hear that one more time no it's true honestly um we're, we're, we're different in a, in a lot of ways ken likes a little flash you know what i mean so when you, when you say flash, though... Let me finish before I... Okay. Are you jumping in? You got to respect the, the conversation. Often it's a trap, but you got to respect people for their differences. And it's fine. But for me, I don't want to be Mr. Flash. The Flash is, is not real. Um, I don't necessarily think I like Flash. Yes, I'm she a do. self-made person. And I'm very proud of that fact. So with that said, I remember we had a conversation about me driving a Bentley before we got married. And he so, it, so, no. I didn't say that. What did you say about my car? Can I respond? I didn't say about the Bentley. I said, let's take care of the house before we take care of the Bentley. But my house is paid for. So right. if I want to buy a car. There's prior, the priorities. It's my money. If I want to drive a Bentley, so be it. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, the one thing I did not like what Kenya had said, well, it's my money. I made it. You know, I'm going to do what I want to do with it. You know, I'm like, but you're in a relationship. You're in a marriage. You have to have some type of compromise. Can you do you know anything about that compromise? And you were just like, in a sense, I don't tell you what you're going to do with your money. You ain't going to tell me what I'm going to do with my money. When you're one, you're supposed to be seeing each other as one. Because when you talk to the girls about him, you always like this protective uh, united front. You you always want to be a good wife. You you want to be submissive and this, that, and third. But then just looking at you having this conversation, which you all will see, I guess, on the upcoming episode that's going to air this Sunday. Hopefully they'll play this. Uh, you'll get a visual of what I was giving you as far as all auto auditorial um edification of what i'm talking about when it comes to that particular clip but i mean she was like interjecting or, or, or just not letting him finish his sentence she was like acting like a child but it's my money hey like bobby brown said i made this money you did right ted we out of here okay that's a selfish way that's the only one way of thinking type of uh demeanor and characteristics she's having it has no characteristics that she's saying i'm somebody else's partner for life you know we're in this together my money is your money your money is my money or that's how we viewing it especially when she ain't have no prenup which like i said ain't nobody in their righteous mind gonna step down and marry somebody else that's you know doing well and y'all not gonna protect y'all selves kenya's not gonna make me believe that she's that she was that sprung and 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 dumb because she was just sitting up there having fun and she threw caution to the wind. Nah, ain't about that. Nah, you, no. <laughs> uh, uh, cause you can be a total drunk out there, done got smashed, and somebody start talking taking your money or your assets and stuff like that, and, and or speaking on it. You are gonna come very clear. You your mind is gonna become sober because you are gonna try to figure out what the hell they talking about. You you know you made all this money. You ain't got time for people to be thinking about taking it from you. What, what, 
I'm like, you gonna really wake up. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like, whoo, somebody snatched that nice high from you and brought you back to reality real quick, fast in a hurry. So I didn't like that point when King was saying, you know, she's self made. And people need to stop using that word, I'm self-made. No, you're self-sufficient. If you were self-made, that means you didn't need nobody to help you. So I don't really like that word, uh, self-made or I'm um, independent. Because that means you're saying nobody helped you. And nobody in this world uh, can actually claim to fame, except for Jesus Christ, that they can make a situation better on their own. Like they pulled their bootstraps up. They put their own bootstraps up and they went out there and conquered the world. No, it was always somebody there that saw something in you, gave you a chance of uh, over all the other ones that they probably preview and say, no, nah, I like this person. I like her spirit. I like what she's giving me. She fits the criteria to be a very educated person, very well-rounded, and very well uh, what do you call it? She's lived a lot. She has a life, a lot of life experiences. So I'm going to take a chance on her. You see what I'm saying? It's not like you went out there, erected something. You, you, you didn't borrow no money from nobody to get no business started. You didn't need nobody to uh, run your company when you weren't there. Like your people, front office people, your administrative people. You know, you need no bank institution to help you fund what you needed to do. You know, it's like you did everything. You were one man, a one woman band running around now, a one woman organization. You doing everything. You your secretary, you your accountant. You, you I mean, come on now. That's what I'm saying. So, you could say you're self-sufficient. Meaning you're going to find out ways to get things that you need to be able to have a normal, healthy, balanced lifestyle or, or just life or environment. You're going to make sure that's right because you're taking on ownership and you're going to make sure you put yourself with the right people to be able to elevate and continue elevating each year going forward. But just to say yourself this, you, um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's just not a good way to say it because it's like you're almost saying you don't need nobody nobody helped you and that's not true so let's back up off of that one so i don't know i just didn't like the whole thing king was trying to give us but i found that clip very interesting but let's get back into the article um let's see Okay, King pointed out during the discussion that it was her money that paid for the car and the house and not his. So, again, I'm like, okay, okay. There we go again, that self-spirit taking over where I, 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 not we, 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 and we as one, 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 one is more so I, 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 I. So, King ain't on nobody's team but hers. Okay. Then we got, uh, it says, here are some of the responses from fans online. So, we got fans weighing in. They said, F him. He don't support you in anything because he's not your true husband from God. Keep pushing. He on his way. That marriage is toxic as f now we see why she didn't want her marriage film on team kenya period this season if i was candor cynthia i would just be on my phone or something else you ain't gonna put me in the middle of an uncomfortable situation like that and they better not say what do you think okay um and my comment on that latest comment i would have said you know shoot can dance they don't need to say nah they didn't sit there keep eating don't respond don't say nah because they situation ain't straight we already see what Todd doing over there with candy okay should i say more no i shouldn't and we, we don't even want to discuss cynthia because we know mike running stuff over there he just charging her up and letting her run like uh the bunny energizer bunny whenever he feel like ramping her up okay but moving on back to the article it says the real housewives of atlanta hair care mongo opened up in an interview with people in which she confirmed that neither she nor mark have filed for divorce yet after announcing their breakup in september in fact king said she remains optimistic uh that she and mark will be able to stay together if they're able to work their issues out i didn't get married to quit people told kenya told people i love my husband i don't doubt that he loves me let me be clear i took my vow seriously i believe in for better and for worse and i believe in trying it all before you walk away especially when we do have a child and we are a family <sighs> 
such bullshit. Okay, I'm just going to call it like I see it. That's a bullshit statement. And as we've seen this uh, season, the during the uh, episodes we've seen past and the uh, current ones, as well as the future ones that they're bringing us, getting us little trailer teasers. Kenya, girl, if anybody's still on the fence that they think this is a true marriage, then girl, let me sell them some some swamp land in Timbuktu and see and say it's gonna be a castle one day just keep waiting on it okay it's gonna sprout up but I need the money up front and see how many takers I have okay then we just gonna um go past the rest of it because it really wasn't anything it was just recycled news that we've already heard in the past about Kenya not wanting to give up on her marriage she believes in Mark but if Mark is doing all these hateful things that you don't told um uh, candy about and candy's assuming that he called you out your name and he shouldn't have did this that and third and you know trying to get your friends to try well we're gonna see your friends uh your co-workers to chime in on your behalf it's just ludicrous to me and then when they go and try to ask you questions about said subject which is mark and how he's been how he's treating you now how are y'all faring oh you don't want to talk about it <laughs> But you don't serve them up out on a platter for us to take part of and pick and choose which parts we want to dog out or whatever. But then when they come to you looking for you to partake in the dogging out uh, as well and give them more uh, scrumptious details to um, be, you know, partaking of. Oh, you want to be closed mouth. You know, but when Matt was up there calling you everything but the child of God, oh, you was on him like white on rice. But when it comes to Mark, oh, you, you ain't got too much to say. You want to interject here and there, but you ain't slam him down and um, just make him feel totally embarrassed to come out in social media like you did Matt over there. So, girl, you so fake and fraudulent. I tell you the truth cute with your antics and how you bring up the tv ratings and that's really what it's all about you know we could pick and choose and pick you apart from the top of your head to the sole of your feet but it really doesn't matter because yes you're an intelligent woman you bring a lot to the table there's never been any doubt in my mind it's just your deliverance you know and how you step over people to get what you want and it's going to be very interesting to see whether candy catches on on what you're really doing trying to get back uh, which you did use them to get back meaning candy and um cynthia's influence of what little they may have had uh with the executives to bring you back after the stunt you made with getting married going over you know yonder uh have your wedding uh, procession done then you want to come back and say look here y'all I was married now and then I'm going to be pregnant in a couple of more you know uh, months okay so it's like <laughs> Kenya 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 everything is so calculated everything is so put in place it's just when it's time to implement uh, is what you're giving all of us and it's it's kind of sad it's kind of sad but then you know if that's what you want is fame fortune glitz glamour then you're right at you're right in your element okay now are you going to get a man that can put up with all of that highly doubt it unless he's already in the industry and he loves himself just as much as you love yourself okay and the love of money so that's all i have for this video y'all Y'all can get down in them comments. I'm sure it's going to be more salacious stories that every social media outlet is going to bring out on Miss Kenya Moore and Mark Daly as we get closer to the uh, season finale as well as the reunion time. And I can't wait. I don't know if he's going to be a part of the reunion or not. But it just seemed like, honey, he, he's busting at the seams to try to tell us something, okay? Now, I'm like, Kenya, he got your behind back on this show. Now, what are you going to do to stay on it for 13, 14? 14, 15, and on down the line until they want to pull the plug and y'all go into syndication if that's the case with Bravo Enterprise. It's true entertainment. I don't know what they have up their sleeve for you all. But y'all signed up all will willingly to share your lives of that uh, that much you want to share anyway, little or le uh, lot. Uh, on the contracts you signed to be with True Entertainment and put your lives on Front Street and what is actually scripted and what they expect. But you're, it's your spin on how you're going to present it to them as well as the audience. And hopefully it, it drives up ratings, which would definitely 
uh, solidify you more with revenue. Okay. So that's all I have for this video, y'all. Y'all get into it. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about subject matter. And we can continue to discuss, discuss, discuss. But until then, I will see you next video. Please like and share my videos and continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps me on my end. Okay. All right. See y'all later. Bye-bye.